Yosh! Hello there, and this is James from Never Stop Shooting. I didn't feel like leaving this adventure half finished, so we're going to finish it, and we're going to actually see if this gets a little bit more complicated. Let us see what's going on. I think that's actually a stairway down, too. That's actually kind of cool. Let's see. Here we go. And I get to see what that mysterious fountain is like. Hmm, fountain of knowledge. Can't wait. I am so tempted on throwing another guy in there. And we'll see what happens. Oh man, my guy is pretty much unstoppable right now. I don't like that they attack first, but maybe there will be an item I pick up where I can actually attack first after that. Paper crown, but I don't want to give that up. Ooh. Haha! <laughs> Take my stool! Well, let's see what this place has for us. Ooh. A weird turn. It's about the only place it can go. There we go. Fountain of Decay. That doesn't sound good at all. There we go. We'll go slam. His unblockable attack with mine. We'll try repel and see if that... Yeah. Yeah, this rat's got nothing on Craig. I wonder if I can... Nope. I'm just not getting the cards to complete this. <laughs> Take that. Well, I was never a big fan of the anger. Although, I will say, I will use anger if they have it as like a, a dynamic thing. There used to be this fighting game that I used to play with this uh, character who had... His anger gauge would literally just keep building. And you could use it to heal yourself. It was actually pretty fun. Ooh, club. You bet we're going to go with club. I'm actually getting a proper thing. Yes. And here we go. Let us see what this boss has for us. Okay, this is going to be one tough shot. Mm. Shot for shot, man. You're not the only person who can do a little bit of healing. Actually, no, he lost health on that. Repelling won't help, so... Boom, this guy is totally in the bag. In fact, we'll just sit back and let him hurt himself even more. And lightning strike! Oh yeah. Do you have any decency, I wonder? Like the ivory league of explorers. Instead you pillage and plunder and rip everything... It's the same song. You're just a reckless bunch of marauders. This is actually a pretty fun game, man. Oh, I could I could see myself wasting hours and hours playing this. Ooh, a trophy room. You bet I will. Right there. Caught up in all the doom and gloom of all the places you've wrecked. It's nice to have a big trophy room. A place to quietly reflect. <laughs> Reflect on all the damage we've done. Oh, I bet you this actually changes what you find in the dungeons. Which is awesome. Mime. Ooh, let's see what the... Nice, we'll have a new guy. Let's see what we got. Is there anything that's more soul-destroying than having to rhyme all the time? <laughs> And that would be an insufferable mime. <laughs> wow. This guy really hates mimes. Let's see what else we got. One more thing we can get, probably. Uh, 
Ooh, cat burglar. Yes. There we go. That didn't rhyme. That didn't rhyme. Well, let's take our uh, cat burglar out. I don't know if we're gonna get all the way. Yeah, that one was a good rhyme. Ugh. Oh, Never. I never hear another story about clearing out rats. It won't be too soon. My mini, I mean employees, did return with some interesting rumors from the Rat King, though. There was mention of a magical orb. An orb of nosiness is exactly the kind of thing I could use to keep an eye on the Ivory League. I need all the help I can get. So if I'm going to take them down a peg, er, if I'm going to take them down a peg, the rumors point to a mysterious dungeon out in the grasslands. I'll search there first. Ha! What am I saying? I'm not stepping foot in that place. That's what I have chumps for. And if they don't want to do it, well, then it's plenty more who are eager to join a guild. I've also decided that, from now on, we'll be known as the Guild of Dungeoneering. Either that or the Guild of the Ivory League of Explorers is stupid. <laughs> I've actually been online and <laughs> some guilds have actually been that. Well, not, uh, you know, is stupid. I, well, actually, that's what I'm saying, you know? Like, this is this guild, and this is this guild is stupid. Can't decide which will look better on her letterhead. This first one. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff. You bet we're going to take her an engineer. We're going to start an adventure, but I don't know if we're ever going to finish. So... We'll see what this thing's got in store for us. Uh, what are you doing in my evil entrance? Oh well, my imps will make short work of you. Well, they're gonna get some gold if I have any say about it. Jatola. Jatola, throw a cat! <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Wow, they were not kidding about the cat puns. This is literally a guy who loves cats. At least he attacks first, though. I was, I'm, I'm super happy about that. Throw another cat! <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, he didn't look too bad. Wow, I've got nothing. I'm actually liking how many different things there are like enemy types and stuff like that like they have like three or four different types of rat enemies I wonder how far ooh there we go catnip oh oh that that looks like it'll hurt one two mm. there we go we'll see what we got oh Oh, he did tons of damage. I am about to die. And there's nothing I can do. I'm about to die and there's not a single thing I can do. Oh. Well, I guess I lied. Well, at least we're called heroes. So, that was the Guild of Dungeoneering. I had plenty of uh, I had plenty of fun playing it. And if you want to see me continue, let me know in the comments below. I'd actually like to see where this goes and see what kind of story this pans out into being. Anyways, this is James. Keep your guns in the air. Never stop shooting. Have a good one. That's a terrible place for a graveyard, but you bet I'm putting it there. This duel seemed very grand. A dungeoneer's life can sometimes be hard. Not always going as they might have planned. <laughs> they mostly end up in this graveyard. 
It is so sad. And I, I had such high hopes for my cat guy. Ugh. <sighs>